What is up everybody, Escape211 here and we're doing a video for Firelight 84. Now I know I've already done a free to play video on this before, but I've really been having a lot of fun and I wanna make some content for it. You might've already known that I did a few shorts for it and I also said I've been streaming it a little bit on Twitch. I wanna do some more streaming of that. Uh, maybe here, maybe on Twitch, I don't know exactly, but either way, I do wanna do some more content on it. And this one is really just a little bit of tips and tricks and some basic stuff that may help some of you guys out, especially if you play on the PC side. Now, as you may or may not know you can play on both pc and mobile and you know people debate on which is better i actually have my buddy shady fox he does a video on uh you know comparing the two he plays on a tablet and i actually think that right now for the game that might be the ideal way to play mostly because the pc side is in a beta version all right but in about a week or so that is going to change and some of the functions well it might still be beta i'm not sure but some of the functions we've been missing on the pc side are going to be coming into the game and one of those is key bindings and that's really helpful to not only know all the keys that you have but to be able to change your layout and oh man that's going to be so nice to have all right but as a new player i've only been playing for like a week and a half to two weeks here um there are other buttons that i just didn't know what they were in the game so i wanted to give you a few basic of those and then give you a couple trip tricks on how to do some of your own key binding at least in the meantime until those changes come all right so uh first of all you know when you start this game um there's not a whole lot you can do for emotes on the pc side all right on the uh, mobile side, you can emote, but on the PC side, the only way you can really do it is when you're in the lobby. That's the only way I've seen emotes work. But uh, aside from that, you know, you don't really have other options. Maybe you do. If anybody knows, you know, you could leave a comment below, but that's the only way I've been able to emote. But aside from that, that's that's not super important. The more important stuff is the other buttons here. All right. So first of all, um, you know, if you want to create a waypoint, you want to hit that middle mouse button. All right. I just hit one right there. That one was for saying danger. But if you want to use just a like a regular one for just uh you know marking points on the map for people you'll do that if you want to talk about dangerous spots you can double click and uh or double click that mouse button the middle mouse button and it will uh, mark those it'll also mark enemy targets with uh one click if you hit them right on that target so um very handy for that kind of stuff the marking is super good uh i really appreciate that function and having that with the middle mouse button super good obviously pretty basic stuff but when i first started i didn't know so i felt like where's my waypoint buttons all right all uh, right next one is crouching all right crouching is nice for sneaking around and that one is control guys all right crouching is with control control and uh, very very handy to do that as well when you need to to get uh, sneaky and get away from people um, again probably a pretty basic one uh, the other one that is handy is when you get inventory now if you this this game has an auto pickup system so when you get up close to stuff it will auto pick it up I have I already have stuff in my inventory so it won't pick it up but it'll show you all of it that you can pick up now the thing that's kind of annoying on the PC side is that uh, it will show you a whole list and it only lets you push F for the top button now if I wanted like the defender or the M uh, M18 this down there uh it would be a pain for me to try and get to that um to either swap out a whole bunch of stuff to get to it which isn't realistic um or this other method which is hitting tab that's the ideal way to do it so if you hit tab you'll be able to bring up your inventory and you can select the specific item that you want to switch over into your inventory you also have this section down here for mods certain things that you want to keep for later like if you find like an 8x scope and you don't have a sniper weapon yet you can grab it and stick it in your inventory or you can save it for your teammates and then give it to them by dragging it out of your inventory onto the ground all right hit tab again and you'll go out of that function all right so very very useful there the other thing that's useful for inventory is when you don't want to see it this accordion style that it shows on the side is very good to see things quickly at a glance and be able to quickly auto pick up stuff but if you don't want to auto pick up things like if you're trying to revive your teammate and you don't want to gank all of his stuff when you're trying to bring them back into the game T is what you will hit to make that inventory stuff disappear and turn into just that little hand. All right, it will turn off the auto pickup for you and then uh, you can safely revive your teammate without taking their stuff. And you hit T again to bring it back up, all right? Very, very handy kind of stuff there. Now that's the basic stuff that I've just kind of picked up um, from my play on things that are not obvious. So if you're a brand new player, that may be helpful to you. But obviously the biggest issue on the PC side, at least for me, is the fact that I can't change my key bindings. All right, Z and C are my biggest annoyance because I don't want to get carpal tunnel trying to move my hand down to get those while I'm using all the you know WASD stuff so um, being able to change or fix some of that key binding 
is really good. Now we have about a week until we may be able to do that, but a hot fix that you can do for right now is using your mouse. All right, if you guys have one of these mice that has like just a couple extra buttons on it, you can still bind stuff through your computer. Now this mouse um, is just like a basic media mouse. It has a couple buttons here on the side, and then it has like, uh, you know, a couple left and right in the middle squ uh, uh, scroll mouse button so um i have a couple options that i can do so uh, i can't obviously change any of that in game but if i go into my settings on my computer you can see here where i can actually change some of that stuff that way and then you will just bind it to the keys that you know the game already has connected to it so my side buttons that i have here are now the z and the c and instead of having to get carpal tunnel i can just hit the button on the side of my mouse and bring that stuff up super duper handy love it um so you know it's definitely one that i would recommend you guys do if you want to at least have a little bit of a hot fix until we're able to bind things how we want so um you know i hope that was helpful for you guys again really simple stuff that i'm getting into because this is still new to me but i've really been enjoying this if there's certain kind of things that you want to see certain tips or tricks maybe tier lists all that kind of stuff for things feel free to let me know in the comments below and we will see you out there on the battlefield